This place is Spiers in Switzerland on Lake Thun and I just arrived here via this bus which brought me from the campsite and it's a really good campsite. It's got a bus stop just outside which is very convenient to get to places such as this and from here you can actually travel free of charge to other places along Lake Thun should you so desire. So I'll be doing that in the next few days. I'll be going to Thun on Saturday to see the open air market there. Uh, it's right next to the railway station which could also be the way you arrive here. And turning around here you get a quick look at the lake. We'll see that a bit more later. And up here are the mountains. Tourist office is here, so they speak various languages as you'd expect, so you can get your information there. And now I'm going to have a walk around this town. This building is the Heimat Museum, which I presume shows how people used to live here in bygone times. And up behind it, we see the Nielsen, which is 2,362 metres high. And now I'm going to walk up here, which is what the lady in the tourist office recommended that I do. She probably thought I didn't look very fit. So sending me up here will make me better. I'm a little bit out of breath after the walk up the hill. But apparently there's some good views from up here. Spears Schloss which you can see down there, Spears Castle and I shall try and head in that general direction I haven't got much time, I wish I hadn't spent so much time trying to resolve problems this morning and um, so I've only really got a couple of, not even that from the time I arrived a couple of hours, so we've got an hour and a bit left to see what's to be seen here it's a bit of a hike up here, but wouldn't you say that that view makes it worthwhile? Spears claims to have the most beautiful bay in Europe. I'd have to say that it takes some beating. What a great place to sit and to read and to take your dog for a walk. In the vineyards around this town, the sign said that in a good year they have 80 to 90 thousand bottles of white wine and 20 to 25 thousand bottles of red wine. If you have a look at the link, there will be more information about Spears. Now, I don't always remember everything when I film things, and it's easier to write things down because then I can actually check them. There are people who complain about me speaking too slowly, and there's two reasons for this. First, I've got to get my thoughts together, and then the second, not everybody speaks English, so I have to make it easy enough for them to understand. And there's a place up there called Gvat and I got invited there from the trade fair in Stuttgart but I shan't walk there now 
I might drop down there a bit later though, during this tour. This is Spiers Castle, which is closed at the moment. See, camping's forbidden here, but you'd expect that anyway. Dogs aren't allowed in. There's a path along the lake which, for example, will take me back to Crattingen where I'm staying. Although it's obviously on the other side of the castle. One year ago, and one year ago, and three days, I was at a place near Locarno called Campo Felice and I looked over the lake there and took some very nice photographs as the sun was coming down and film which you can see on my YouTube channel and the pictures you'll have to see on motorhomefulltime.com There's the railway station at the top of the hill and back to where I started from. The bus back to Krattigan goes 6 minutes past the hour. It's now 16 minutes past the hour. So there's 50 minutes to wait. I see it says up there 3.30 but the clock's wrong. So much for Swiss timing. And so I walked 7 kilometres here. And it was quite a fast pace. So I think I'll, I'll leave it at that for today. It's a very interesting town and lovely views. That's very good. You don't often see such wonderful views as there. No, I'm going to walk back here a bit more rather. Go back a different way, back to the station. <laughs> 